Now, um, the fuel that we put in our tractors is, um, let's see, is um, non-taxed. So when we get it from our uh, fuel company, if they bring it and the form it's in, it has to be dyed so that if somebody puts it in their truck or something that they use for the road, then um, if a police officer or whoever decides to do a random um, gas check, then they can just stick a tube in the fuel tank and pull it out and um, it'll be dyed pink if it's for agricultural use or off-road use or um, it won't be dyed pink if it's for road use. Um, again, the, they only dye it to figure out uh, or to determine whether or not there are any um, or if or like if there are any people with um, off-road diesel in their tanks. It's not something you really want to do is put off-road diesel into your, let's say, diesel truck um, because if they decide to do a random gas check, uh, that's considered tax evasion. And let's say you could get at maximum two years in prison and a million dollar fine. That's for, that's for the United States. So it's not something to be taken lightly. You never want to put it in your truck if it's for off-road use. It's a lot cheaper than uh, diesel that you can pick up um, at your local gas station because it has no taxes on it. Um, the pink dye just goes into the engine like, like the rest of the fuel. It doesn't really have any effect on it. Um, the diesel that goes into your tractors is supposed to be like an ultra low sulfur. So um, there used to be an old myth saying that if you put off-road diesel into your truck, then it would damage it, but uh, that's pretty well false. Um, it doesn't really have any effect on your engine, but that's just what they call it is ultra low sulfur. So anyway, um, I'm pretty sure most farmers use uh, dyed diesel because of the less taxes, less taxes on it, and they can uh, save money on it. So anyway, if you're wondering why it's pink, there's your reason.